the consent theory is wrong because you can't just have private consent rule everything. Because if it were, people could get divorced anytime. I don't like you. You don't like me. Let's call the whole thing off, right? You say tomato, I said tomato. You can't just call the whole thing off. We don't let people just say, I consent out of this. I divorce you, I divorce you, I divorce you. Hey, I'm on Match.com. That's not how it works. We say that there are deep structural reasons independent of consent. It works for marriage, which is what brings us together. And it also works for separation of powers in American constitutional law. There are values in the horizontal arrangement of powers within the federal government that transcend what individual parties to a commercial relationship may or may not find convenient. So with that in mind, we can't just throw caution to the shore, CFTC versus shore. We actually have to to consider what the Constitution says in Articles 2 and 3. Now, if you take my 1992 article, and look, if I, a Thomas Clerk, alum, you know, an alumnus of the Thomas Chambers, and Alan Morrison agree on this, you've got, it's got to be right, right? And that's always been my, my running joke, and we do agree on this. Alan Morrison is, uh, was the one who encouraged me to write that article, and, and he and I would both say, look, Article 3 at some point has to mean that you can't strip all the jurisdiction of the federal courts. Article 3 does say all cases, some controversies. It doesn't, doesn't it say that? It does say that.